Welcome back to Drive World. Since we've gotten Japan, we've gotten a whole bunch of new races. And in today's video, I wanted to explain how to do some of these races. The first race we have here is Pillar Circuit. For this race, the best car is definitely the mixture. Because it has such a good acceleration, this car dominates this race. And on top of that, it's really good at turning. But in other races, this car isn't as viable because of how sharp turns are. And on some of the streets, they have guardrails, which hitting these with the mixture just makes you come to a full stop and you're not able to catch up with the other racers. If you don't have the mixture, the P1 or the P1 GTR is another good option for this. The P1 GTR is basically just a slower mixture which can help on some of these races in Japan. When first doing this race, the pillars are pretty hard to avoid, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. The hard part is avoiding a lot of the tires in this race. For example, on the last turn with the mixture, you might end up hitting these tires here. But the main thing with the mixture is making sure that you have the right tune so you don't oversteer or understeer. For this race, setting any time under 1 minute is pretty good. With practice, you probably could get under 55 seconds on this race, but 1 minute is a good start. The next race we have here is School Scramble. This race is also dominated by the mixture, and this race is pretty straightforward other than for one turn. As you can see up here, it's a pretty awkward turn, and these two checkpoints don't really make sense together. So just make sure when taking that turn, that you are ready for the weird change of pace. Other than that, this race is pretty normal. The best option for this turn is probably actually hitting both of these checkpoints and then teleporting back to this checkpoint here and it'll face you towards this way so you can continue on the race. Anytime under 50 seconds is good depending on which car you're using. The Yesco is probably the best for this race with the new turning buff that it has. And because it doesn't have too many turns, the Yesco doesn't really have any parts where it struggles. Both the P1 GTR and the Yesco don't have too many problems on the turns as the acceleration isn't as bad as the mixture. The mixture is still good for this race, but because of how many sharp turns there is, it's really not practical to use it over the Yesco or the P1 GTR or P1 even. Moving on to the next race, we have Shiba Yu Midnight Circuit. This is the first race in Japan which has a lot of small alleyways. This race also doesn't have many sharp turns which really helps out with the mixture. Although this race does have a few straights which cars like the Yesco or the P1 GTR might beat it on. But this race is probably the easiest with the mixture. As you can see, the mixture getting around 48 seconds and the Yeso getting around 52 seconds. So these cars are pretty similar in time. It just depends on your playstyle. For this race, setting any time under 55 seconds is good. And the next race we have here is Scenic Route Trail. This race has a few sharp turns and the road is really bumpy on this. So using a car low to the ground like the mixture, it's pretty bad. And this race is pretty straight, so using the mixture also isn't too great because of the top speed that it can have. So using a car like the Yesco or the P1 GTR is definitely a better option for this race as well. This race also is the first one to actually utilize drifting. And the Yesco isn't very good at drifting, so this race, if you're drifting, definitely do not use a Yesco. The P1 GTR is probably better for it. And this race is pretty tough. If you get any time under 1 minute 10 seconds, that's pretty good. The next race we have is Choyaku Rush. And this is our first race which involves dirt. This race is pretty straightforward as there isn't many turns and there is a lot of straights on this. The only issue you might have is falling off the edge or spinning out on the dirt, which is pretty easy to avoid if you practice this race enough. The mixture is definitely the best for this race because it's able to hold speed around all the turns, while compared to the Yesco, it flips on a lot of these corners and it can't keep the speed around the entire track. 
and a good time on this track is around 1 minute and 25 seconds with an average car and sub 120 with mixture. And here we are with our first race circuit of Japan. This race is pretty hard with other cars if you're not drifting. This track is dominated by the mixture because of how good it is at turning on the sharper turns. When in lower restrictions where you can't have the mixture, you want to make sure to drift around a lot of these corners so that you can get to the next checkpoint as fast as possible. And the mixture on this track is able to get multiple seconds faster than any other car on this track. Or if you're using other cars like the Gesco, which can't drift, you want to be using the brakes a lot on this race. Anytime under 1 minute and 5 seconds is good on this track, or if you're using the mixture, anytime under 1 minute is good on this track. Although if you're really good, the mixture can even get sub 50 seconds. The next race we have here is Hakik Aisu. This race probably involves the most sharp turns, so cars that are good at drifting are a priority on this race. This race is also one of the shortest tracks in the game, and setting any time under 40 seconds is good. Coming to the next race, we have Inaka Street Circuit. This race is really similar to School Scramble, as you have to bob and weave through buildings. So just like School Scramble, the best cars on this are probably the Yesco and P1 GTR, as the mixture isn't very good at the sharp turns. The only real difference between this and School Scramble is that this has two laps and School Scramble only has one. This is also a pretty short race and getting sub 45 seconds is good. And here we have another race which involves a lot of drifting. Surprisingly though, this race the mixture is actually pretty good at. The only point you'll really have to worry about is the last turn on this race where it's really sharp. And not taking this right, it could end up costing you first place. With this race, any time under 1 minute is good, although the mixture is able to get way faster if you have it. The next race we have here is Interchange Sprint, which this is my favorite race in Japan. The reason I like this race is because of how narrow the streets are. Hitting any of the walls on the side will cause you to lose time. The mixture is probably the easiest car to use on this race, but the better and arguably funner car is the Drag Pal. Even though the Drag Pal can't turn, it's pretty easy to get a fast time with the drag pal. The only issue you have with the mixture is having to slow down a whole bunch for the turns. If you don't slow down enough, you'll end up hitting the walls and your car will come to a full stop. And when using drag pal, make sure to always hold handbrake so that you can drift. Getting any time under one minute is good on this track. Moving on from my favorite track, we have my least favorite track, Jumping Jacks Part 2. This race does not work at all with the mixture. The best way to do this race is to heighten your suspension so that it's easier when you land. If you gather up the courage to actually do this race, any time under 30 seconds is good. The next race we have is Kedo Toge. This race is the mixture killer. The mixture really struggles to do any of these turns on this track. If you get the hang of it though, drifting in the mixture actually is the fastest way to do this race. Getting any time under one minute in this race is pretty good. Moving on to the next race, we have Sai Shin Rally. This is another race which involves dirt, but it actually has drifting aspects. This is one of the races that's probably better be done in first person because of all the trees around the track. I really like this race because it has a little bit of everything. From drifting to dirt to roads, this track has almost everything the other Japan races have. The only thing this track is missing is a spot that's really narrow. This track could probably be ran with the Mixture or the Yesco or the P1 GTR, it doesn't really matter, it's just whatever you like because of all the different options that this race gives. This is the second race circuit we have in Japan, and I like this one more than the other one. Although like every other race circuit, this is also dominated by the Mixture. If you're not using mixture, the one part you'll have to worry about this race is hitting this wall right here. Going too fast around that corner might cause you to hit it and you'll have to reset. Anytime under one minute is good on this track. And when doing this race, you want to make sure to stay out the sand as much as possible because you'll start sliding and it's harder to turn when you're in the sand. And here is the only current dirt circuit race in Japan. This is one of the easiest races in Japan, 
as a lot of the turns just have wall rides. So you don't have to worry about taking the sharp turns. The only part of this race you have to worry about is coming to the second lap and slowing down at the first turn to make sure you don't hit it too hard. Any time under 1 minute 20 seconds is good and the mixture is probably the best for this race because it's really easy to control. And the second to last race we have is Yama Street Circuit. This is probably the hardest race to do in all of Japan because of the sharp turns straight into the middle of two buildings. And the way the buildings are placed, it's really tough to do a lot of these turns. The easiest car to use on this race is definitely the P1 GTR. The handling on this car outshines all the other cars in the game. And through the sharp turns and the middle of buildings, it's really easy to control. Any time under one minute is good on this race, but if you set below 50 seconds, you're really good at this race. And for the last race, we have Tori Trouble. This race has a few unexpected turns, the biggest one being here. And you have to make sure to take this turn correct so you don't hit those buildings. Getting under 1 minute 5 seconds on this race is good, but the mixture is able to get sub 1 minute on this race. And this is the fastest car for this race. And with that, that is all the races. Let me know down in the comments what times you've gotten on these races. And if you have any better cars for some of these that I can try out. And I'll see you in the next video.